not every day you get a high five on the streets of New York. Energy's so positive, everyone's so vibrant and amazing. It's like, it, it's almost like a family, and it's almost like we are, we are a family because it's our Catholic family. From our country USA! USA! to the islands and across Europe, Africa, and Asia, the pilgrims are making memories but also collecting them. When the pilgrims come to World Youth Day, a lot of them bring little bags like this. And inside, take a look, are a bunch of pins that they'll trade with. Here's a Polish-American one. There's a cross in here. But the real question is, how exactly do they trade these things if they don't speak the same language? Well, it's kind of funny how it happens. And maybe a little awkward at first. Even if you don't speak English or their language, you know, you make the motion of, oh, trade. But soon they're even trading shirts and sending out invites. I always tell them, come visit us and we'll have fun and come to our church and I'll come to the Netherlands. This one from Dios of Dejan in South Korea. The bond between pilgrims, a special one. Once in a lifetime experience and once in a lifetime that you can actually get something from a I guess a close friend from another country. Even though I didn't, we exactly didn't, couldn't understand what we each other, what we were saying. We still knew that we exchanged something that we both found, you know, you know, priceless. I'm told the experience makes pilgrims very proud to be from their country, but even prouder to be one of 1.2 billion Catholics. You know what Catholic means? Everybody, everywhere, every time. When you come to World Youth Day, you see that. From Krakow, I'm Michelle Powers.